some people out there like to ask. Are 3D games realistic? I say no. I believe firmly that the real world was not made by 3D programmers. Here's why. Reason number one, melee weapons. Not everybody in the real world walks around with a melee weapon. While this may not be the case with every 3D game out there, the overwhelming majority feel the need to equip you with an axe, a chainsaw, a cleaver, a dagger, a f***ing tuba. I don't care. All these games give you something when you're out of ammo. I don't know why. Whatever happened to being a f***y and kicking dirt like I do? Secondly, how many people do you know in real life that move like characters in 3D games? Jumping, for example. Do you make a grunting noise every time you jump? Is it the same grunting noise every time? If you answered yes to any of the following questions, chances are you've never been laid. Who out there really makes a grunting noise every time they jump? Do you realize how ridiculous that would sound in a hundred meter hurdle event? <laughs> Oh, 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 it's with strafing, people. Now, I understand it might be nice in a firefight, but if you're running down a hallway and let you gain extra speed, don't strafe. Oh, but, Emmy, we do gain extra speed by strafing everywhere. Yeah, okay, that might be so in 3D gaming, but how many people do you know run track in real life by strafing? Not many, I hope, because I sure as hell have never seen it. Oh, and speaking of strafing, in real life, how many battles have you seen fought by circle strafing? Come on now, people. Do you realize how ridiculous that would look? For example, American soldier spots the monster with slippers on his hand. American soldier claims he's gonna kill him. Boom, American soldier begins walking in circles around the monster, hitting him repeatedly. What the hell is with that? Are you having a hard time picturing it? Fine. I give you example A. Arr, I'm a monster. Arr. I'm gonna kill you now, monster! Wait a minute, wait a minute, stop the tape, let's rewind. Let's review that monster's death sequence, shall we? Now, I'm not going to say any names, <coughs> Soldier of Fortune, <coughs> but some games have overly elaborate death sequences. We're talking 400 frames of animation just for a guy getting shot in the balls. I don't think you're necessarily going to see that in real life. I mean, let's face it, if you get shot in the balls, you're going to fall over, you're going to cry, and that's going to be that. You're either going to die or you're going to look. You're not going to prance around the room for five minutes bleeding everywhere. Now, don't get me wrong, I happen to like the game Soldier of Fortune, but have you ever played it online? If not, I give you example B. Is this a uh, co-op? No, it's deathmatch. Is this deathmatch? Yeah. Okay. Notice, man is hit, man is dying. Man is crawling around for about five minutes, screaming in agony, and then a final death cry. Now, that might be nice and fun to see once in a while, but every single time, I didn't think so. If we're gonna do death sequences, people, let's keep them short and to the point. The last thing we need is a dying body lagging the rest of us. Oh, and let's chit chat about lag for a few seconds. Does real life have lag? I sure hope not. Do you realize how dangerous some situations would be? Be if real life was plagued by pink times? Walking down the stairs. Better be careful. Better hope you don't get some packet lost while you're about to take that big nasty step there. Oops, somebody got lagged. Sorry, it goes on, right? Maybe not. Or what about going to the bathroom? Such a trivial event and take it for granted each day. But do you realize how dangerous and unsanitary it could be with lag? I mean, come on now. Please note that for dramatic effect, I use squirt bottle. There's a lot of things I will, but to prove my own point, I sure as hell won't piss all over my own bathroom. How do you know who's winning in real life? I mean, sure, blood flies in 3D game, but do you ever know who's in the lead just by looking around? For example, take these two guys. They're circle strafing around each other, jumping, making that grunting noise, crouching and attacking, they're doing all that good stuff. And then someone says, hey, who's in the lead? Well, they don't know who's in the lead, so they argue a little bit, but how are they going to know? Is the person who wants to know just 
gonna go hit tab? I mean, have you ever seen that happen? I sure haven't. See, dude, I'm ahead by one. Dude, I told you. Alright, I told you. Oh! 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 When I just mentioned crouching while fighting, nobody ever does that in real life. Not one person has ever been in a melee combat throwing fists and then decided to just drop to their knees and start throwing punches to the other person's shins? That makes absolutely no, no sense. So why do we do it all the time in 3D gaming? Maybe that's because 3D games are nothing like real life yet. In fact, I'm sure many of you out there have played games like Action Quake. What does everybody do in Action Quake when they approach a door? In case you don't know, I give you example C. Who is it? Ah! Lastly, and thank god this isn't nearly as much of a problem nowadays as it was back then, what's with 3D games insisting upon, even though you're looking through your own eyes, showing a picture of your own face at the bottom of the screen? What purpose has that ever served in any of the games? Oh, you get to see what direction the pain's coming. Oh, you get to see your face flinch. Who the f*** cares? Seriously, people. I mean, I guess in the end, maybe everything isn't so bad. I mean, maybe the uh, world could have been created by uh, Apogee back in the Command Keen days. I don't know. Oh, God, what would that look like? What's that, Zach? Hey, what's going on, Kevin? Not much. How you doing? Pretty good. Zach. Yo. Why don't you ever look at me when you're talking to me? Uh, because I'm a side scroller. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. You wanna go get some meat? Sure. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna uh, go outside, okay? But oh, wait, there's shit inside. Are they really? Yeah. I can't see my feet! I can't see my feet! Sean, are they there? Sean! Oh, I can't see my feet! I'm making big clean, big shot. Let me hear the